Samsundar is transcribing your talks with me. I, I, I received your, your very kind letter mm. uh, about a week ago. Mm. Now you are a very intelligent boy. You can try to understand this philosophy. It is very important. And try to preach. Sense gratification, people are wasting so much time. If they, do, they are not responsible, what is going to happen next life? But there is next life. Police people, they are ignorant, but there is next life. And this life is preparation for next life. That they do not know. The modern education, university, they are completely in darkness about this simple knowledge. We are changing body every moment. That's a medical science. And after Changing this body, we'll have to accept another body. How we are going to accept that body? What kind of body? This can be also known. Just like one is being educated, when he passes his examination, one can understand that he is going to be engineer or a medical practitioner. Similarly, in this life, you can prepare yourself to become something next life. Can we decide what we want to be in the next life? Yes, we can decide. Just like we have decided, next life we are going to Krishna. This is our decision. Back to home, back to Godhead. Just like you become educated after decision that you are going to be engineer, you are going to be a medical practitioner, and in that objective you prepare yourself, educate yourself. Similarly, you can decide what you are going to do next life. If you don't decide, then material nature will decide. Just like uh, a, a boy who is not nicely educated, without any future objective, the government will decide. If he is a criminal, then government will decide, go to jail. And if he is nicely educated, the government will decide, you take this job. Everything is like that. We have got our future life, and if we don't prepare, what is that future life? Then we are like animals. The animals we do not know. Well, how can I know if I wasn't Krishna conscious in my last life? Huh? If I were, how can I know if I wasn't Krishna conscious in my last life? Therefore, you are giving the chance to become Krishna conscious. Could I have been in my last life? You may not be. It doesn't matter, but you can become, take advantage of our Krishna consciousness movement. She is asking if it was possible in her last month she was a Krishna's devotee mm -hmm. in her last month mm -hmm. and come back again. If you are a Krishna's devotee, you should be coming back again. You, when month. one is perfectly Krishna's devotee, he may not come. But if there is little deficiency, then there is possibility of coming back. But even though there is deficiency, he comes back to nice family, suchinang simotangi hi yoga prashtu sanjaya.
Human intelligence can decide for future. That is human intelligence. Okay? Animal cannot decide. We have got that discriminating power develop. I shall do this, I will be benefited. If I do this, I shall not be benefited. This is there in human life. So we have to use it properly. We should know what is our work whole of life and decide in that. That is human intelligence. What is that? This is a photograph you received from Dr. Bharat. I think that he has sent many from the family collection of Lalit Prashad. So keep it and frame it and, and keep it in my room. Should the painters, should they paint such uh, type of pictures? Yes, I know. And they can distribute to the centers? Yes. Not all family members. Just Simply Guru Mahārāja. What about uh, just Bhakti Vinod Thakura? Bhakti Vinod Thakura, not that all family members. Not really. Yes. Have you ever seen Krishna? Yes. Yeah. Daily. Every moment. But not in the not in the material body? Huh? No. Not he in. has no material body. Well in the temple here they have pictures of Krishna. Oh, that is not material. You are seeing material. Because you have got material eyes. Because you you have got your material eyes, you cannot see his spiritual form. Therefore he kindly appears to be in material world, so that you can see. This is the point. Because he has kindly made himself uh, just fit for your seeing, that does not mean he, is, he has material world. Just like President Nixon, if he kindly comes to your house, it does not mean that his position or your position is the same. It is his kindness, out of love, he may come to your house. But that does not mean he is on the same level with you. Similarly, because we cannot see with our present eyes what is Krishna, Therefore Krishna appears before us as painting, as made of stone, as made of wood. And Krishna is not different from these paintings and wood because everything is Krishna. After we die, what happens to us? We get an, another body. Immediately? Yes. After you, just like you change your apartment, you fix up your apartment first, then you leave this and go there. But we, will, we won't know it. Huh? We wouldn't know it. Yes, you will know it, provided you are qualified. Otherwise nature will arrange for you. Those who know, they know what is there, but those who do not know, the nature will arrange. You do not know means you have not prepared your life, so accidentally at the time of death your mentality will create another body and nature will supply you. I'm chanting. What is chanting to you? That you can ask these boys, they will instruct you. Could you tell me what is the difference between uh, uh, Krishna controls everything? So how how is this does Krishna control a non devotee? By Maya. By just like 
government controls everything. The criminal is controlled by the police department. And how does Krishna control a devotee? Just like uh, you control your beloved. Just like you, are, you have got a beloved child, so you control for his benefit. If he's going to touch fire, you immediately say, no, no, my dear child, don't touch it. Say, Krishna conscious person, devotee, is never misled because Krishna is always guiding. Whereas those who are not Krishna conscious, they are in charge of Maya, and Maya will do the needful as yet. Is it preset when we're born, the time that we'll die? Hmm? Is the time that I'm going to die and everybody going to die, is this preset before they're born? Do I have, when I'm born, do I have a certain given lifespan? Yes. And he cannot change that? No. He cannot change, but Krishna can change. If you commit suicide, Huh? If somebody commits suicide, that is also preset. Yeah, not preset. That you can do because you have a little independence. It is not natural to commit suicide. It is unnatural. So, because we have got independence, we can go from nature to unnature and we shall be prepared for that. Just like a, a prisoner cannot go out of the prison house naturally, but somehow or other he arranges to jump over the wall and goes away, then he becomes again prisoner for further imprisonment. Yes. Naturally the prisoners cannot go out of the prison house, but somehow or other he manages to go out. That means he becomes again king. He will be again arrested and his term of imprisonment will be increased or he will be punished more. So naturally we cannot violate the destiny, but if we do it, then we shall be. But our destiny can be changed by Krishna when we are Krishna conscious that we do not do, but Krishna will do. Krishna says, Aham kāṁ sarva pāpi bhaṁ of Krishna. I shall give you protection. So that change takes place for my protection by Krishna. There are two stages, non-devotee and devotee. The non-devotee is under the control of material nature. And devotee is under the direct control of Krishna. Just like a big man, in the office there are many employees, they are controlled by different departmental superintendents. But the same man at home is controlling his children directly. The controller, he is controller both in the office and factory and home, but at home he is controller directly. Outside home he is controller indirectly, but he is controller all, always. Similarly God is controller always. When one becomes devotee, he is controlled directly by God. When he is non-devotee, he is controlled by his agent, Maya. But he has to be controlled. Just like every citizen of America is controlled by the God. When he is all right, he is civil, Department controls him, and it's not all right. It's a criminal department controls him, but he cannot say that I am not controlled. That is not possible. 
says, I am not controlled, he is not sane, he is crazy. Everyone is controlled. So either you be controlled directly by God or you be controlled by His agency. Being controlled by maya, you spoil your life. That means you remain in the material existence one after another, you simply change your body. But if you give yourself to be controlled by God, then after this body you go back to home, back to God. Then your life is settled. You cannot be without being controlled. That is not possible. Therefore one is intelligent, he puts himself under the control of God directly. That is intelligence. And that is stated in the Bhagavad-gītā. Bhavanāṁ janmanāṁ anti gyanavān māṅa prapadvati. After many births of struggling or speculation, one surrenders unto me. Vāsudhi is Krishna, you are everything. So I am. Accept me, I am now fully surrendered unto you, and you control me. Because I am controlled. So, so long I am being controlled by these rascals. So there is no benefit. I have controlled, I have been controlled by my senses. So under the control of the senses, I have served family, the society, so called family, society, country, nation up to serving the dog, but nothing has given me the satisfaction. Therefore now I have got sense, good sense. I, I put myself under your control. Instead of being controlled by dog, let me be controlled by God. This is Krishna consciousness. You have not seen man how he is controlled by a dog in the history? The dog stops, passes through. Yes, no. I stand. Is it not? He's passing stool, his urine, and the master, he's thinking I'm master, but he's being controlled. That is Maya. He has become servant of dog, but he's thinking that I am master of him. This is Maya. This is Maya. Unless one is Krishna conscious, one cannot understand. We can understand that this rascal is being controlled by this dog, but he is thinking that he is the master of the dog. We can understand. What do you think? Does he not become controlled by the dog? That's uh, very true. Huh? That is very but he is thinking that I am master of the dog. A family man is controlled by his wife, by his children, by his servant, by everyone, but he is thinking, I am master. President Nixon is thinking, he is master of his country, but he is controlled. At once he can be dismissed by the public. He is his servant. And he takes that position, placing himself that I will give him very good service. I shall be a first-class servant. Therefore people vote you. All right, you become president. And in advertising, uh, re-elect me, re-elect me. That means he's servant, but he's thinking I'm master. That is the position, māyā. One who's controlled by māyā, he's thinking himself master, but he's servant. And a devotee, he never thinks himself, I am master. Answer. That is the difference between Maya and not Maya. He at least knows that I am never master. I am always servant. But these rascals, they think that they, uh, uh, they are master, but actually they are servant. That is the difference. That is the difference. When a servant is thinking I am master, that is called illusion. And when a servant thinks I am servant, that is not illusion, that is mukti. That is liberation. Because he is not controlled by a false thought.
try to think about this Arjuna. A devotee is never controlled by a false thought. He knows his position. Sarupena avasthiti. Mukti, liberation means to be uh, situated in his own constitutional position. That is called mukti, liberation. I am servant, so I, if I know that I am servant, that is my liberation. And I am servant, if I think I am master, that is his bondage. That is the difference between conditioned life and liberated life. So these Krishna conscious devotees, they are always thinking that they are servants of Krishna. Therefore, all they are all liberated. They haven't got to endeavor for liberation. They are already liberated. Because they are situated in their constitutional position. They are not artificially thinking that I am master. Otherwise everyone is thinking, I am master. Everyone is thinking. That is illusion. You cannot be master in any stage of your life. You must have to remain a servant. That is your position. But when one thinks artificially that he is master, that is his condition in life. And when one voluntarily surrenders to the Supreme Master, that is his liberation. A devotee hasn't got to try for liberation separately. As soon as he surrenders to Krishna or Krishna's dependence, he is liberated. People that engage in uh, uh, religions like these Jesus freaks and other people, they claim that Jesus is guiding them. Can this be so? Yes, but they're not taking the guidance. That's why the Christians, Jesus guiding him, uh, thou shalt not kill, but that killing. Where is the Jesus guidance? Simply by saying, I am guided by Jesus Christ, we'll do. But I don't care for his words. Is that guidance? So nobody is being guided by Jesus Christ. They falsely claim. It is very hard to find out a man who is actually being uh, guided by Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ's guidance is open there, but nobody is caring for him. They are taking Jesus Christ as a contractor to take up their sins. That is their philosophy. They will commit all kinds of sins and poor Jesus Christ will be responsible. That is their religion. Therefore they say, oh, we have got very good religion. For all our sinful activities, Jesus Christ will die. A very good religion. Eh? They have no sympathy for Jesus Christ. Once He has died for our sins, why should He commit against sins? Such a great life has been sacrificed for our sins. That is guided by Jesus Christ. But if we take it, otherwise a weasel go on committing all sins, and Jesus Christ has made contract that He will nullify all my sins. Simply I go to the church and confess, and come back and again do all nonsense. Do you think it is very good intelligence? No. When the you, he, actually one is guided by Jesus Christ, he will get liberation, certainly. But it is very hard to find out a man who is actually being guided by Jesus Christ. What I, I think about is the Jesus freaks, the, I, I, the mm -hmm. people that, the young people that have joined this Jesus movement, and they, they, they read the Bible very often. But to read the Bible, but violate the Bible injunction, injunction. How they can kill if they are following the Bible? I asked one this, and he said he claimed that Jesus was also eating meat in the Bible. But, but I, that's I all. I, he he may eat anything. 
He is powerful, but he has order. Thou shalt not kill. You must stop him. He is powerful. He can eat the whole world. You cannot compare with Jesus Christ. If you cannot imitate Jesus Christ, you shall have to abide by His order. That is your position. Then you are guided by Jesus Christ. That is actually uh, obedience. You cannot imitate. Uh, that is explained in Bhagavā, that those who are Ishara, those who are in power, they may do anything, but we cannot imitate it. We have to abide by His order. What He says to me, that I have to. You cannot imitate it. If you say that Jesus Christ ate meat, admitting that, in what condition he ate meat, if you do not know, then Jesus Christ is contradicting his statement. He is eating himself meat and he is advising others not to kill. Do you think Jesus Christ is contradicting? No. He cannot do that. That, that is real faith in Jesus, that he cannot do that. So why he has eaten me, he knows. But he has asked me not to kill, I have to follow. That is the end of Christianity. You are not Jesus Christ, you cannot imitate. He has sacrificed his life for God. Can you do that? The why you have imitated Jesus Christ? You are imitating Jesus Christ for eating meat. Why not imitate Jesus Christ, sacrifice your life for spreading God consciousness? What do you think, Kirtana? Yes, when you preach, you can say all these things with so called Christians. They're what you are doing for God. Tejiya Sangra Dosai, that's the sun. The sun is absorbing urine. Do you drink urine? If you want to imitate sun, oh, here is sun absorbing urine. Let me drink urine. Can you? Tejiya Sangra, he is powerful. He can do everything. Therefore, we cannot imitate him. We have to simply abide by His order. That is real Krishna. You cannot imitate powerful man. That is wrong. Just like in our Vedic literature, there was a poison ocean. So what people become puzzled, what to do with this demigod? Then Lord Shiva said, oh, I'll drink it. So he drank the whole poison ocean and kept it in his throat, Nilakant. Now you drink poison? Not the whole sign, you take one cup. So how you can imitate Lord Shiva? Lord Shiva never advised that you drink poison. So you have to abide by the advice, not by imitating. Oh, Lord Shiva, just like this LSD and Marianas, they say something. Lord Shiva used to smoke Gaya. They say like that. And Lord Shiva drank the whole poison in the ocean. Can you do that? Lord Shiva's in his text and tutor. He says the best worship is to worship Vishnu. Vishnu Aradhanam Param. When he was asked by 
पार्वती तो वॉट वॉच मेथड ऑफ वॉश इज फर्स्ट क्लास देन ही सेड फर्स्ट क्लास वॉश इज वॉश इंग लॉर्ड विष्णु विष्णु आराधनम परम तस्मात् परतन देवी तदीयाना आराधनम ही सेड the vishnu vasi is the best there are many demi gods but he recommended vishnu vasi is the best and the better than vishnu vasi is to worship vishnu tadiya naam aradhu tadiya means his servant or one who or what is in relation to him this like we are worshiping this plant tulsi we are not worshiping all plants but because this tulsi has very intimate connection with krishna and vishnu there for you tadiya naam aradhana simply anything which intimately related with krishna worship of that thing is better than worship of vishnu krishna Why is that? Mm-hmm. Why is that? Uh, what because you because the Krishna will be pleased. Just like if you have a good dog, and if some friends come and pets your dog, you become pleased. Uh, you become pleased. Ah, uh, he's my good friend. We see, and we see. Come on, there some friend comes, and friends dog, uh, they friends mice. Ah, uh, yes, I have got a nice dog here. Friend. <laughs> Come on, hey. Come on. आप सब किधर से? मैं बम्बई से. अच्छा, बम्बई से. ये मेरी माँ है. अच्छा. हाँ. भगवान के दर्शन किया आप लोग? आज आए थे और हमारा ऐसा सुबह हो गया कि आप ही यहाँ बता रहे हैं. हाँ, आज अभी जा रहे हैं लंदन. आई आई इनका नाम कृष्णा है अच्छा कृष्णा भाई ये भी मेरे पिता के नाते जी हैं विद्या का प्रसाद ये लोग सब और आप और सब ब्रांच में हम लोग आप गए थे नहीं नहीं मैं तो न्यूयॉर्क में था तो इसलिए न्यूयॉर्क पेरिस में देखा पेरिस में और और लंदन अच्छा लंदन में बहुत बहुत बैठे हैं आप तो जबरदस्त भगवान का प्रचार हो गया है बड़ी खुशी हुई है अब देखिए ना ये लोग को समझाने के लिए दिमाग लगाने पड़ता है बहुत एक एक को समझाना अब इनको समझा रहा था क्यों तुलसी को क्यों हम लोग पूजा करते हैं ये तुलसी है आपका हिंदुस्तान में रहता हमारा जन्म स्थान कलकत्ता है बाकी हमारे बम्बई में है जुहू में नहीं बम्बई में हमारा सेंटर है जू में बीस बीस हजार यार्ड स्क्वायर यार्ड जगह हम लोग लिया ऐसे मायापुर चैतन्य महापुर का जन्म स्थान में वृंदावन में तो आप न्यूयॉर्क में कोई काम करते हैं तीन साल से यहाँ हूँ अच्छा और पहले इंश्योरेंस करता था अभी एक्सपोर्ट इम्पोर्ट का थोड़ा सा कर रहा हूँ बिजनेस ठीक है ठीक है और
जब आपको फुर्सत है आइएगा टेम्पल में उधर रथ यात्रा होगा लंदन में लंदन में लंदन में बराबर रथ यात्रा होता है अरे चार तीन चार वर्ष सैन फ्रांसिस्को में होता है और और जगह में होता है कम से कम एक महीना लगे लंदन से पेरिस जाएंगे मार्सल जाएंगे और हो सकता है नायरो भी उधर भी हमारा मंदिर है आपका गुजरात इधर बहुत है भागवत का भी ऐसे सब ऐसी है सब मंदिर है भागवत पाठ हो रहा है भगवत गीता यहाँ किसी को भागवत का प्रचार करने के लिए आना हो और किसी को कुछ बोलना हो तो यहाँ जगह मिल सकती भागवत का प्रचार तो हम ही लोग कर सकते हैं आप लोगों के साथ ही रहते हैं एक श्लोक समझ नहीं तो आपका जीवन बीत जाए तो ये सब प्रोफेशन है वी डोंट एंटर वो भागवत सुनाता है सारा जीवन और उनको भागवत सुनता भी है सारा जीवन वो किसी का कुछ होता नहीं वो जहाँ का कहा ही होता तो दिस प्रोफेशनल विल नॉट हेल्प बस They are taking that as a profession, as you are doing business. They are taking reading that. Maaf ki lega, Maharaj. No, I have no idea. I have asked someone. 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 Yes, I am ready. I can go. Sri Baba is always ready. Huh? You're always ready. Yes. They have taken their all bags and baggages. That's all. I am ready. What is that telling us? Uh, I think Sri Baba is a a group in Cleveland, Ohio. Huh? There is a colored. Lady who is leading a group and they're dressing in dhotis and saris. Huh. And uh, oh, they're they're they just train them. They're giving some disturbance to the temple there, and they are here. They've come to New York. Huh. So what do they want? They want to see you. Why? He's not my student. So the GBC members may see and do the need to. In all affairs, how can I see everyone? No, I, I, I don't think you should. Uh -huh. You asked me what they wanted. They, everyone wants, but how can I see everyone?
give it to Samson. So you will come for Janmashtami oh, yes. without fail. Yes. Nanda, Nanda Kumar, ask Nanda Kumar. You have taken everything, packed. Almost finished. I have about five or ten minutes left. Uh, so where is the key of the Almeda? Uh, it's on the key. Yeah. And you have got one? No, that turned out that that other key was the same make of key, but it didn't fit the slot. There was only one. All right. Then, uh, what is the, where is the pen? That Gopal Krishna gave you? Yeah. I have that packed in your suitcase. That's all. Preach, 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 preach. Oh, everyone is that one. The Christian. Oh, what are you? What Christian you are? They are diso- disobeying the orders of Jesus Christ and everyone. Oh, Christian. This is one. We don't say that because you are Christian you cannot love God. We simply say that you are not following. If you follow, then you can learn also how to love God. I never said there are so many questions by following just a yes, you can attain perfection. Yes. Which would like to take? Anyone will do that. So shall I take your passport now? Yes. And health card? Yes. So here is my passport and here is my health card. Is that all right? Yes. Yes, we have to turn in the meeting. Can I offer you a fresh garland? Oh, yes. Thank you. Two press. Two, two press. Water. Oh, That's all right. Now, you can take this. Chitra no, I can take this. Chitra no. Well, Vishnu, you can take this. And you can distribute among yourself. Hmm. Where is my, that wrapper? Diti is open? Yes, yes. So I go and see the Diti and from that door I can get out. I see. I'll arrange. Yes. Ready? No, she will So ask them to keep my warm cloth out, otherwise I may require in the... Uh, at least one sweater. One rapper.
So is that our darshan about Christianity is all right? Hey, where is Christian? Simply by saying that I am Christian. I'm... There is no Christian. There is no Christian. Otherwise there is no difference between Christianity and our religion. They are Christian, we are Krishnian. And Christ comes from the word Krishna. So if they actually follow the, the commandments given by Lord Jesus Christ, the, the world will change. Yeah. Is that so many Even Jesus Christ and ate meat. You cannot eat it. You have to follow his instruction. Yes, our best I have found that the best argument is you practice yeah. proof. Yeah. Yeah. Should I still go? Few no. units, I think, because they are still packing. All right. None of these religions have produced a sannyasi. Mm -hmm. None of them. The person who is detached from material mind. I was, I was reading in the Bible. And therefore I refuse this Bhagavad Gita. He wants to come in. And no, we don't want this professional man. We want men who have sacrificed their life for God. We want such men. Not professional. The so-called priests, they are profession. They are earning money. That's all. They see, they, 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 ah, the Kurmis are earning money by that business. And it has become a business. Everywhere. Religion has become a business. They perform some charity. Huh? They just perform what some charity. What charity they can do? It is also a, a loophole, that's all. We are making charity. And they're playing, playing gambling. Yes, in the church. <laughs> huh? Bingo. 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 I was reading. They prescribe. The book prescribes all our principles. And no 500, 500 priests are in hospital. But they're drinking heavy. 500 or 5,000. Huh? You know that? Yes, Brahmananda gave me a cutting from newspaper. The five hundred or five thousand priests are in the hospital to cure of their drinking and eh? the <laughs> They are drinking, they are eating meat, they are gambling, and they have been illicit sex, and they are preaching. And we say, first of all, stop these things, then claim yourself to be religious. Or God conscious. You cannot indulge in all these things. Or oh, you have kept my warm cloth outside? Yes, you have. It's outside. Because I may require in the. So, we don't want to enter into arguments, but we must know. Uh, but if somebody comes to argument, we have to say, what can be done? We say that you follow Christianity in perfect order, you will benefit it. That we say. Our test is whether you are advancing in God consciousness. That is our test. You follow Christianity or Mahavadanism, anything you follow, we don't mind. Whether you are developing your God consciousness, love for God, that is our test. But if your process has failed, then you can try this. And you see in our, our process within so short time how they are becoming God conscious. You have to admit. And they admit also. They are not giving any young priests. Eh? They're not getting young priests. Knowing this meaning is getting young priests. Yeah. 
very young. That's from the womb of the mother. Yes. Yes, I am very.